Welcome back, everybody. April is recognized as Donate Life Month. There are people waiting on the registry, just hoping to get the call for another chance at life. Well, one Fort Wayne man finally got that call, and it was quite literally a breath of fresh air. Hal Miller has always been active, a Marine and sports enthusiast. Even in his 70s, Hal was still competing. I was 72, still playing softball. Okay, senior softball, Fort Wayne. And I was pretty physical, golf, uh, doing all that. That's why when his breathing seemingly got harder overnight, he was concerned. I thought I had some bronchitis. And uh, it wasn't getting any better. So I went to the VA doctor. Hal was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. I was a little surprised because... Not a year and a half earlier, my brother passed away from this. Having just seen his brother go through it, Hal knew his back was against the wall. Hal made an appointment with the VA to discuss a lung transplant. And I come back, declined. They didn't accept it. And their reasoning was that they felt I was too old. Despite getting the news from the VA, the Millers were not done. And she said, well, there's one other option. And uh, she said that... Uh, I could gather the information up again and send it to IU Med Center or IU Methodist. Hal met with Dr. Chad Denlinger at IU Methodist. Again, with his health declining, Hal was met with another speed bump. He had been to rehab back closer to home, walking uh, one mile per hour on the treadmill. And again, I told him, look, we can't safely transplant you unless you get your walk distance up to something more reasonable, let's say two miles an hour. And he said, I can do it. And uh, honestly, I, I doubted him. I thought there's no, no possible way he can do this. Again, Hal was not giving up. He says, uh, if you can go out there on the track or on the treadmill and walk the treadmill for 30 minutes at two mile an hour, well, I'll reconsider. So I went and did it as he's walking the track. Hal took that motivation and put himself in a position to receive a double lung transplant. August the 4th, I was listed. August the 15th, I, at around 5 o'clock, I got the call. The transplant was a success. Hal had been given another chance. And that's that was it. When I woke up, there was two new lungs. Hal took that second chance a step further to the tune of a 5K after his family presented him with the challenge. You have a tendency, no matter who you are, to push yourself a little bit. You know, when you're under the gun. Oh, well, I'm not quitting. Dr. Dinlinger says Hal's perseverance is what makes his job worth it. What, what I really enjoy is seeing him on the backside. And now he's out of the hospital, wearing regular clothes, doing things like golfing on Easter Sunday, running 5Ks, that, that's really what I find the most exciting. And as for how, he's not done. I come that close, that close, where you can even hardly see, that's how close I got to not having one. And uh, um, bless his heart, he gave me a chance. And uh, it's awesome. That's oh, fantastic, man. isn't it? Yeah. It's just powerful and inspiring. I mean, just talking about this close, you just never know. I was telling George while we were watching that, I can't imagine being on a list and having <clears throat> to wait, and you don't know how long you're going to be having to wait we, for which, an organ. And we were making this point yesterday. It, it's so simple to designate, designate yourself as an organ donor. Obviously, you don't give up a lung until you pass away. Yeah. Uh, but if you, you put that on your driver's license. And the other thing that's really important is to let your loved ones know your wishes so that when they're in that emergency room, God forbid, and you've passed away, they know what your wishes are and they will make that designation right. uh, and, and tell the doctors. Well, you, you can have the lungs. I think the story yesterday, so. very quickly, you know, the person you interviewed saved, or her, their son saved five lives. Five lives, yes. Yeah, so. Incredible.